Okay, we just carry on our distillation. Now I just decided to run it at about 400, 402. Just reduce the temperature. So reduce the voltage a little bit. Now here's a waste coming out. Here's our production. Like production doesn't go like that all the time. It's sort of pulsating. So it just allows the cylinder to fill up and then it reduces into the container and it cools down within the cylinder. Uh, there is no smoking, almost no smoking, just a little bit on the top and nothing here uh, in the flange, between the flanges, so that it sounds like the gasket was just uh, smeared with some oil or something, so it's been sort of drying out, now it's dried out nothing there everything is fine no smoke clear but again you know it's just either needs to be outside or adequate uh, ventilation needs to be in place here what's we getting out it's not transparent it's light uh, it's not dark but what I gonna do I gonna uh, run it one more time technically we can uh, do it with some uh, absorbents like silica gel or something but uh, yeah of course I gonna use some silica gel later but before that I would run a second distillation of our resulting uh, fuel here just the crude fuel and we'll see what we're gonna get uh, so don't forget we get some uh, distilling some uh, diesel oil diesel engine oil use diesel engine oil uh, and uh, most of this oil, no, not most, I, I would say quite big portion of this oil is additives uh, that make it thick and so on, you know, some, I don't know, there's a lot of additives in there and we need to get rid of them, uh, get rid of uh, carbon, black one, so just keep some ratio, about 20% of the waste and 80% of the actual fuel and everything would be fine so no cooking inside the reactor because uh, some people who get my seals like these ones they complaining about the cooks in the reactor so they're not running it properly also they're trying to run any sort of used oil or whatever rubbish or bullshit they would be able to find so just think about that like uh, I don't know like your car you wouldn't put anything like a frying pan oil into your sump same thing in here it needs to be filtered it needs to be free of water no particles you know if you're dealing with some rubbish just use some normal periodical uh, destructive distillation retort that you would uh, clean clean up after all this one is a continuous unit uh, requires some proper feedstock it's still waste oil, it's already been used, it's already been wasted. So it's not really wasted because we're reusing it. But anyway, it's used oil and we can tune used oil into the proper fuel to run our diesel cars and generators, stationary generators on this sort of fuel. Not a problem, you know, the diesel car would love it. Because it's much better than just a simple black, so-called black diesel. Because it's much cleaner. We'll see the difference. I'm gonna keep the sample. Uh, what the temperature now? 405. It's fine. Uh, we're gonna keep this sample and compare it with uh, our second distillation of the of the result that we're gonna get here. You know, with our resulting fuel. So again, I'm gonna, gonna run it for the second time, and we'll see the difference. And for now, I just did it a little bit of uh, oil, just to increase the amount of uh, of the output, because I wanted a little bit more. And again, we're gonna see if there are any problems with the unit. It's running fine. 
the, there's some condensation on top on top of the exhaust pipe but anyway I'm gonna make some sort of skirt on top of it before I send it so no condensation also I added a couple of tiny rubber blocks uh, under the platform or base of the unit to make it tilt a little bit forward so there's a reduction in the heat exchanger no accumulation of the condensed fuel inside now it's just flowing freely down the pipe into the condenser and out like this now you can see how the oil slowly disappears so it's getting pumped into the unit so very soon I'm gonna fill it up with the resulting fuel something like that Okay, thanks a lot. See you in the video number three. Like the second distillation comparison. Thank you.